Hey, this is Mark. I've got kind of a really neat alignment tool that's a new feature in Surf CE version 3 to show you here. And to demonstrate it, I brought up an old job. This is a uh, mining claim um, block. You can see there's four claims wide and two claims high. These are 600 by 1500 feet. Now the record coordinates are the uh, orange dots, so point 1001 through point 1015 are the record corner locations. And uh, we don't know if they're NAD 27 grid or ground or somebody just made up a coordinate system. They're old enough that their provenance is uh, questionable. We've gone out and we've surveyed points 2001 through points 2015 and these were done with RTK and they should be centimeter. So we've gone to the center of the claim posts on all of these. Um, so we know that 1001 needs to come down and move to 2001 and 1015 needs to come down to 2015. Um, but we'd like a cool way to align these blocks. Now I'm going to show you how to do it uh, with just one point and then I'll show you how to do two points and then I'll show you how to do four points. We'll use uh, 2001, 2005, 15, and uh, 11. So in Carlson, I've got all of the points loaded in Carlson here with the topo background. Um, we can use the Kogo transformation tool to move the points. Now translate was the way that I would have used to have done this and what I would have translated is point 1001 down to 2001. So you can come in here and type in 1001 and, and 2001 and that will calculate a delta vector and these are feet and if we hit the green check mark, um, now we're not going to move all the points. We just need to move points 1001 through 1015. So let's change our point range here. 1001 through 1015. We'll override our existing point IDs. And now they're done. Let's come back in here. And you'll see point 1001 and 2001 are now um, right on top of each other. I think we can zoom in here. Doesn't matter how far we zoom in, they'll be exactly right. But the question is up here in the upper right corner, what happened there? And if we zoom in here and then we can pick Kogo and inverse. If I click near the point here, it's actually going to spread out 2015 and 1015 so that I can click on the one I want. And then I'll click on the second one. And you'll see the horizontal distance is 1.2 feet. So these points down here in the lower left corner, they match exactly by doing a translation. And up here in the upper right corner, we're off about uh, one and a quarter feet. I suspect that the original points were international feet and uh, we're working in survey feet so there's probably a difference in units here um, but the neat thing about Carlson version 3 is it allows you to bring in as many points as you want for an alignment so let's do that and to do that I'm going to start another job to back out the changes that we just made. Um, I'll make a mining claim two here. And we'll bring in all the points for Utah Central, Utah Survey Feet, or US Survey Feet. I'm going to import an ASCII file. And the format for these is XYZ. Put them in MCO2. We've got 30 points again. And uh, you can see we have our misaligned grid in here. So we need to bring 1001 down to 2002, 2001. 
So let's go back to Kogo and then to Transform. And this is the new feature. There's a new tab over here that's labeled Align. And what we can do is we can add in point pairs. So I'm going to say, well, I want my source point to be 1001. And I want my destination point to be 2001. So I'm going to take this red dot here and move it down to the green uh, check or green square. Now let's take 1015 and move it to 2015 next. So I'll add another point. 1015, 2015. Now because there's only two points, now it's suggesting that I have a scale factor of 0.9998. Because there's only two points, I could constrain this to be um, a two-point rotation and translation only. And if we do that, you'll see my horizontal residuals are um, six-tenths of a foot. So I probably do need to allow it to do that scale factor. Uh, because I just have two points in the alignment, I can have horizontal residuals for those two points that are exactly zero. Let's add in... Uh, 10, 11, so we'll translate 10, 11 to point 20, 11. And then let's take 1,005 and bring it down to 2,005. So currently I have all four of those points enabled, and you'll see that my average horizontal residual is 3 tenths of a foot. And uh, we can go through here and 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. That's not bad, scale factor 0 0.997. So this is for plane similarity. We can change this to a rigid body with no scale. That fixes the scale factor to 1. But our average horizontal residual is about a half a foot. So we're going to get better results with plane similarity. And I, I've already agreed that I need to have a scale factor in here. You can play around, uh, for instance, we don't have any vertical data with the record data here. Everything's zero, so we'll knock those down. Um, you can play around with turning points on and off just like you can when you're doing a localization. Uh, when you get everything the way you want it, here I've got 0.33 feet. You hit the green check mark. Um, I'm only going to translate points 1001 through 1015 and that process is done. Let's come back into our map view and uh, we'll drag up here to the upper right corner. Let's Kogo inverse that. We'll go from 1015 to 2015, 0.3 difference. So this is a great tool. This alignment tool is a great tool when you have a number of points that you, in a, in a survey job, that you need to line up with record and they don't line up exactly correctly. Um,